Speaking of flooding, we are marking the 10-year anniversary of Austin's worst flood ever. As ABC 6 News reporter Dan Conrad tells us now, a lot has changed since then, and we haven't seen the last of those changes. I remember early morning receiving a phone call from Chief Phillips saying, Bonnie, they got 12 inches of rain in Blooming Prairie. It's heading our way. Ten years ago next week, the landscape of the city of Austin changed forever. All the flood control projects that we're working on have been designed based on that 2004 flood. But by that time, the community was already more than a quarter century into an extensive flood mitigation program. We've removed around 275 structures from the floodplain since 1978. That was the year the city experienced two record floods one week apart. And what we have been always trying to do is remove structures uh, so that should it flood again, they will not get flooded again. FEMA even did a survey of the economic impact of moving those structures out of the way of subsequent floods. I think there was a $38 million savings based on flood reduction and flood impact by not having those homes impacted during those different floods. The citizenry even passed a local option sales tax to help with the costs of flood mitigation. It was a local commitment that helped the city leverage millions of dollars in state and federal grants to help with flood control. We've done several projects, but probably the main one is the one on North Main that we're doing now. The flood wall portion is, is nearly complete. This flood wall on the edge of the mill pond has removable panels that could be inserted during periods of high water. The project also involves raising the elevation of part of North Main Street by two feet. We're still on that time frame of sometime in early November of, of opening up the road. And while the landscape has changed over the years, flood mitigation for the city of Austin will always be a work in progress. We need to look at where we are now and move forward with the projects that will help us into the future. Dan Conrad, ABC 6 News.